Finished with the with the awards tonight. You got two two time, two time. coach of the year, man. Yep. Talk about that, man. How? Uh, man. I appreciate it, man. Just um, all my hard work paying off. Let somebody recognize me, you know, me and my team. And, uh, I ain't doing it by myself. I got my coaching staff, my fighters that's trusting the process, fighting on the regular. Whenever their name, they ain't get called. They're ready to put it out there and put that work in. I'm thankful. So, man, you had two two athletes, man, that were uh, Under Armour Boxers of the Year this year. Yeah. That, it does that put a lot of pressure, man, coming up for the following year? Nah, it was just it was just it was pressure from day one. Every year is pressure. It's, it's pressure. The first uh, fight in the tournament, like it, it's nothing, like no more. Like you just can't be scared to lose. You know what I'm saying? It's always that pressure because people want you to lose. I they see you winning for a long time, so it's like it's, it's nothing to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's Come on over here, Jamal. Man. On, man. How you feel, man? About your, about your coach, man, getting that tonight? Uh, he deserved it. You know, he's been working hard. He got like I don't mean I can't count. I lost track of how many fighters we got now. <laughs> But he deserved it to get that many fighters to go to Nationals and rank. Takes a lot. Got a great team. Now I gotta ask, Coach, man, how many uh, fighters you taking to the JOs this year? Uh, you know, a couple of them got qualified. Then my Pee Wees, they automatically get to go. And my youth kids automatically get to go. So, so far, I'm looking at, we automatically just offhand, we, we taking like, like seven so far. But the rest of the kids, it's, it's looking pretty good. You know, like I said, I don't put the horse before the cart. You know, they fight in the locals, fight in the regionals, then they go to the JOs. You know what I'm saying? But my main, my my tournament is a December tournament. That's my main tournament. The JOs is not. I like it, but like it's not my my main one. Why, why is that? Speaking on that. Because all the best kids come to the one in December, and then the summertime. So a lot of kids, you know. Once, once you win the JOs, once people fade off, they don't come back and they'll just wait. But like I said, that 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 15, 16 boxing really counts. So that December tournament, if you're not there, like kind of like wasting your time. If you just go to the JOs or you just go to the Easterns and you don't go to the um, to the December, it's like you wasting you you just did it for nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you went to tournaments for no reason. Like, to get seeded. You only get seeded so because of December. You know, and then, like I said, the real fighters. And then, like, they can brag on eight, nine, peewee boxing. You could be the you could be the best peewee boxer. You could be best banner boxer. You could be best intermediate boxer. As soon as you turn 15, 16, it doesn't matter. And a lot of them check out because they can't handle it. Now... Yeah. A lot of people don't know, man. When they come to Oxy Hill, man, that's that's the doghouse, man. Yes, sir. There's it, no player up in there, man. Nah, man. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Don't, don't come up in there talking about uh, how it is he and all that. You're going to get the exit door. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bye. You don't want to work. We just do eyeball tests and you throw your kid in there. Now, you know now, a lot of a lot of your boxes, man, you got from the football field. How yeah. was that transition for him from the football field to the I mean, like I said, ring? I boxed before. So it's like... Like when I seen the ones, I knew they can. I knew they can box by just watching them play football. Like get it? Like that, that's like I said. That's one of my talents. I know. I, can, I, I know talents. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be playing volleyball, and I I can think you're a good basketball. Like stuff like that. You know what I'm now, now, who should they keep their eye on, man? Up, up next, coming out of Oxen Hill. Uh, Michael O'Connor and Damani Young. Yeah. Those are two. Yeah. Michael O'Connor, he's going to be the next Jamal. Yeah. I mean, he's already 10 years old. He can handle 
14 year old average fighter. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a lot of confidence in that kid right there. Now, you know, you just recently had an event at the, at the uh, DC Armory. Yes. Do you plan on putting on another event anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, we're going to be doing a, um, we're going back to the prison system. So we're going to go back and do it uh, in the jail system. So we're going to, I did it, uh, we did a jail. Um, really? Before. Yeah. What was so, that experience like? Uh, it was like, it was nice. It was nice. It was like I said, but only thing that was different about it, like no fans can come in. Everything's like, it's only, if you're fighting your coach, that's it. And the ring people and the media people, and, and that's it. And your coaches, that's it. And, what do you normally do that at the youth detention center or yes. the regular? Uh, the youth detention center, yeah, youth prison system, whatever they call it. What, yeah. What has the response been behind that? Oh, uh, it was good. Good. App. I mean, it's like the, you know, uh, the, 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 the kids in there they get to see something different other than you know their jail cell and you know what I'm saying. They is an institution. They trying to rehabilitate, rehabilitate the kids to do better. Not you know what I'm saying, just locking them up, sending them different stuff. And, and it was a great program last year we did, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, and uh, I might have some coming up with the MGM Grand, but like I said, it's timing. You know, I got. Oh wow, yeah. MGM Grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like wow. the National Harbor down there. You know, because we Oxen Hill based, so you know they right want, down the street. Yeah, they want to do something. So, um, but like I said, it's a timing. You know, Jamal is about to go to the. Uh, Jamal and Reggie going down to the USA camp in April, and then we got the JO. So my my time and space, because I know everybody gonna want to get on it from Ohio to Florida to all the top kids around the country. How's the experience uh, working with Reggie, man? From where you had him when you first started to where he is now? Um, I mean, if I if I'd have had Reggie for if I'd have had Reggie for three years. Right, man, we wouldn't even be talking. He he'd be on the team, you know what I'm saying. So it's, just, it's like I said, Reggie's doing real good with us. Like I said, like he he's doing so good. People forget that we only had him for a year. Yeah, just a year. Just a year. So like, if he make a mistake fighting the elite number one kid, you know, a year ago he couldn't even be in it with that type of kid. So like, if he don't cut the ring off or let something go enough, I'm more patient enough. Be like, oh man. We got time, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going pro no time soon. He's shooting for 2024 Olympics, and um, and we, it, it's time, man. Like like I said, man, like people, we, I ain't saying people want us to lose. It's just like they expect so much from us. Like Reggie's still growing, you know what I'm saying? Now he number three in the country, his name buzzing. And like, you know, we still got more development with him, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we're all of them, but I mean, he only been at this elite level for fighting these top kids for only one year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of him because I don't think too many people could have done what he did. You know what I'm saying? And Reggie, uh, he just fought last week for the number one kid first, Dixon. And that's all he's going to get a customer fighting. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a top kid, I'm not going to really let you. He really not going to fight you because it's, it's nothing to gain, nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what he, yeah, I'm proud of Reggie. Hey, man, yeah. Coach, man, I really appreciate uh, your time. I really appreciate you bringing me out, man. Tonight uh, I had a great time. Ran into a couple of uh, high schools. I actually interviewed in other sports, oh, man. Yeah, so that was man. crazy yeah. to see that. Volleyball, my, my baby girl. Come here, Megan. My, my baby. She's going to be the next volleyball ninth grade freshman. Playing varsity, up and coming. What school? Oxen Hill. Oh, Oxen Hill, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she met the uh, MEAC uh, uh, volleyball player, uh, female of the year, the one you just interviewed, you know, and that, and that, and that was a good moment. I was happy there. Yeah. What is it about the sport that you enjoy so much? Because we was actually just talking about that, not enough uh, uh, African Americans involved with the sport, especially uh, young girls. So what got you involved with it? Um, it was one of my um, old coaches that I used to, when I used to cheer. It was one of my old coaches. She just wanted wanted to try it out. So when I tried it out, I liked it. So I just been playing it ever since. What do your friends think about you playing uh, playing the sport? They, or do, are all your friends involved with the sport also as well? No, I mean I made friends from the sport, but my my friends outside of the sport, no, they like but they support me in it a lot. But other than that, no, they don't really play it and stuff. Do you, do you plan on? Uh, Taking up uh, volleyball in college also as well. Yeah. 
Now, are you looking at different schools right now? No, not yet. Cause I don't know, I just haven't yet. Oh, okay. I plan on too soon. So. How proud of you, your dad tonight getting it two time coach I'm of the year? Very, very proud. Cause he came a long, long way. So I'm really proud. Oh wow, I really appreciate that. How them grades looking? Good. Okay. Three point six. Three point six. Oh, that's what's up. And this is your what? First year? Yeah. Was was it hard to transition from uh, the middle school to high school? Um, just a little bit. I had to adjust to like my to like timing and like with like studying more, taking notes more, stuff like that. Other than that, it wasn't really that hard. Oh, okay. I really appreciate your time, man. Thank Good you. Hopefully, one day we we'll see you up here get one of these awards. Okay. All right. All right. We out.